let's we go through about this week lesson of bio 1 to 2 regarding the chapter 1 biology and its theme there are four subtopics in this chapter such as introduction to biology branches in biology characteristics of life and hierarchy of biological organization but in this lesson we're going to focus about three subtopics only introduction to biology branches in biology characteristics of life so at the end of this lesson you should be able to describe the five basic themes in biology able to differentiate between living systems and non-living things by describing the characteristics of living organisms before we learn about what is biology you should know about the life or living organisms life arose more than 3.5 billion years ago so the firstly formed organisms known as unicellular organisms because it composed of single cell however the organisms changed over the time and they become as multicellular organism because it composed of many cells what is biology biology means based on the greek word bios means life and logos means study and knowledge so the biology is scientific study of life or living organisms the current research trends about the cell is stem cell the stem cell is actually is unspecialized cell which give rise to more stem cells and to more specialized types of cell for example the stem cells in bone marrow they able to differentiate to produce different types of blood cells these are the latest research highlights of stem cell. Living things, they diverse into different forms on the planet. However, it also composed of the same chemical elements as the non-living things. These are the five major themes in biology. Biological system interact, structure and function are interrelated in all biological systems information must be transmitted within and among organisms living organisms depend on input of energy from the sun because the cells inside the living organisms they need energy to carry out the biochemical reactions next evolution is the process by which populations of organisms change over time so these five major themes in biology lead to formation of the branches in biology these are the branches in biology so when you look at biology biology is a diverse subject in which it consists of many fields of the biology for example microbiology biotechnology ecology genetic molecular biology botany biochemistry and etc however there are seven major branches you should know in biology such as zoology biochemistry botany genetic ecology biotechnology and microbiology so when you learn about the branches in biology you should know their definition it is very important previously i explained about what is biology right so you should know the definition of the biology and then the branches of the biology together with their definitions for example, ecology means the study of interrelationship between the living things such as plants, animals, and the non-living things. Biotechnology means the study of application of biology in productive industry. Genetic means the study of hereditary and variation. Microbiology means the study of microbes. Botany means the study of plants. Zoology means study of animals. And then the biochemistry is study of chemistry of living things regarding the changes in metabolic process. So remember the branches together with the definition. It is very important. 
what makes living matter living this is because of the cell because cell is the basic structural and functional unit in living organisms so let's we look at the history of the cell study so i just summarize the history of the cell study it begins from robert hook scientist discovered about the cells in 1665 by examining very thin slices of cork under the compound microscope then followed by anthony van leeuwenhoek ludolf christian three viruses johan jacob henry dutrochet and lastly it led to formation of the modern cell theory which proposed by three scientists such as theodor sachuen matthias jacob scladen and rudolf virchow so based on the modern cell theory there are three theories stated such as all the living organisms compose of one or more cells the cell is the structural unit of life for all the living organisms next the cell can arise only by division from pre existing cell okay so what it mean the division from a pre existing cell the cells they form from the pre existing cell actually there are two types of the organisms right unicellular and multicellular organism unicellular they compose of one cell only however the multicellular organisms they compose of many cells so how these many cells form they form from the cell division from the pre existing cell it means the firstly formed the one cell divides to produce two and then they it become four and etc so this is how the many cells they form from the pre existing cell modern cell theory also very important next the characteristics of living things these are the nine major characteristics you should know living organisms are composed of cells and arranged in organized manner next the living organism they need to undergo respiration for what the living organism they need to get energy through the respiration process actually the cells inside the living organisms they need energy to perform the biochemical reactions living organisms undergo growth and development growth means the changes in terms of the size as the number of the cells increase development means changes in terms of the shape and also the forms of the living organism as they reach their maturity level next the living organisms able to regulate their metabolic process through homeostasis okay homeostasis means internal regulation of body to maintain the stable environment based on the changes in the surrounding environment for example let's say you are standing at the outside some are very hot so what will happen you feel very hot the sweats release from your skin and also the body so this shows that your body undergo homeostasis process to regulate your internal environment internal environment of your body so sweat release indirectly it release the heat through the sweat to maintain the internal environment next all the living organisms need to undergo movement and locomotion okay living organisms such as the animals the plants all they undergo the movement they need to undergo the movement to get their food to get the energy to escape from the predators to find their mates even plants also undergo movement generally the movement in animals are so obvious compared than the movement in plants the movement in plants for example if you saw any of the plant they grow and bend toward any particular direction it shows that the plant grow toward the direction of the sunlight so this also one of the form of the plant movement 
next the living organism they able to reproduce there are two type of reproduction sexual and asexual reproduction so here the living organisms they need to undergo the sexual reproduction to make sure the continuation of the species this is very important not for the survival ship to make sure the continuation of the species organisms able to respond to environment or stimuli for example the mimosa pudica plant let's say you touch the plant what will happen the plant will close automatically in response to the touch so this also the plants respond toward the stimuli next the organisms they able to evolve and become adapted to the environment so they pose their adaptational characteristics or traits so that they can adapt to the particular environment for example the polar bear polar bear live in very cold environment so how they survive there they have thick fur coat which insulate their body next will be excretion all the living organisms they undergo the excretion process to excrete or dispose out the waste from their body so these are the nine major characteristics of the living organism so these are the examples of the characteristics of the life for example the venus fly trap they able to respond when any of the flies or insects landing on them next the the fiddle kit will grow and develop into ferns as mature then the dogs okay we can notice right the dog's tongue so the saliva dripping out from the dog's tongue in response to the hot environment so that they undergo the homeostasis process to maintain their internal environment next the sexual reproduction in animals for example the cats they undergo the reproduction to reproduce their own kind we also can notice the organized pattern in the flower so these are the few examples of the characteristics of life so generally for this chapter you should know the definition of the biology the characteristics of the living organism together with their explanation and example then the branches of the biology with their definition thank you